he was tasked to do some work with a lady called Rosie Robinson, whose pictures you can see around us here today. Um, she was a lovely lady, and I did a few initial meetings with her, but um, she got very, very poorly, and sadly, in uh, November 2016, she died. I, in my process of my work, I, I inherited a large portfolio of pictures which she'd painted over several years. When I looked at them, I absolutely fell in love with them, and I felt that it was such a shame that hardly anyone would ever see these pictures. With permission from the family, I asked if I could put them on exhibition. So what you see here today is a legacy of Rosie Robinson's life. It sums her life up really well. It's joyous, it's vibrant, and um, she was a really good artist. I started to work with her when her mobility started to decrease, and initially she was running around but then gradually she sort of went off her feet and ended up in a wheelchair. And I always loved going to visit her. Um, the latter end, she quite often was quite sleepy, which was a shame because even then though, she had um, that little twinkle in her eye and um, it, she was just a lovely, lovely lady. As Daffa said, you know, Rosie was quite a character. She touched the heart of everyone I think she met. Um, she absolutely adored life. She went to Leighton Base, um, which is our, one of our day services, um, currently run by the council, and she absolutely made a lot of friends there. Um, it was, she was just a lovely character, and I think it's been very good that Martin's had the opportunity to prom you know, promote her work and her capabilities, and also you know, promote the services that we provide and work in well with the service providers and health colleagues and do a bit of joint work in around a case. I've worked with Rosie for three years as well. I first became involved with her case when it was suspected that she had dementia, um, but at that time there was really a very small evidence of it really. She just was losing a few of her skills, but she was still very, very um, vibrant and enjoying life in the community. She used to do a lot of artwork and a lot of um, acting and drama and singing and she was always talking about her white blouse and I think that's one of the things that myself and her remember really well about her because she would always talk to us about this white blouse that she needed to wear for her concerts. Um, as everybody will say, she was delightful. She she loved life, she loved everyone. Uh, even at the very end, she was still able to shout to the nurses if they were doing things incorrectly with her. And um, yeah, she was a very, very big character. She's a very small lady with a very, very big heart, I'd say. I first knew Rosie about four years ago and she was a fun loving character, I used to run around the home and play jokes upon people, nicking tea towels and hiding them in her bedroom. Um, sadly she deteriorated and the dementia kicked in and she ended up in a wheelchair and everyone involved was supporting Rosie to get through things and she died in November 2016. Um, Rosie's, on behalf of Rosie's family they would like to thank everybody involved, especially Harv and Sandra and Steph and the Powys County Council team, Learning Disabilities team, yeah. um, and also uh, for the wonderful job that all the staff team had done within the home for the Rosie. When we looked at the amount of pictures she'd drawn over a period of time, we could see that it was quite iconic. and not naive at all. It, it can look childlike at first, but you can see that there's real meaning and depth in the pictures. And it reflects very much Rosie's life and, and things that were important to her. Her family, her home and her friends, and the activities she took part in, dancing and singing. And throughout the process, along with working with each other, we worked very closely with Ryan and Carol, um, Rosie's brother and sister-in-law. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it today, but were part of the opening day and collating all this artwork. Um, and I know, you know, they were very happy with the care provided to Rosie and how we all joint work together to promote the best quality of life for her. All the friendly folk.